Hey everyone, it's Linda with Sea Faith Homestead. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to plant some trees. Today we went to Best Buds Nursery in Mumford and we got some fruit trees. I'm so excited. This is a dwarf everbearing mulberry. I've never had a mulberry. She said those are her um, favorite, the lady that owns it, she said that that's her favorite berry, that they're really sweet and um, good for just eating um, off a tree or canning. So I'm excited to get some uh, germination from this, get some fruit from this. So I'm about to plant it. We, got, we dug the hose just a moment ago. Russell did, did that. And thank and goodness he survived with his back. Poor and thing, Lynn, he was in pain. Linda, how many uh, of these do you have to have? Just one mulberry. It's supposed to get really large. I think it's like um, 10 to 15 foot high, I think, and 15 to 20 foot wide, if I'm remembering correctly. See that tap root's done come out the bottom? good size one so we're gonna move on to the next she, she this uh, is, I was gonna show them this this is what we uh, of course dug up from the top of the ground we were when Russell was digging the holes I gave the first one to the chickens and they went crazy and the next one I gave to the pigs and they were fighting over it so got another one I'm gonna share with the pigs in a moment so this is a magnolia fig that we got today it is a um, large fig that Commercially, they use for canning. The texture is like a softer fig. Um, tree, tree is supposed to be pretty large, like 10 to 15 foot tall, 15 to 20 feet foot wide, I believe. She is planting this. I love figs. That's probably one of my favorite fruit trees. And they had some of them that already had this size that already had figs on them. So we're hoping to get some figs uh, next summer. Uh, we'll see how, how things go. But uh, I'm very excited about the figs. Russell loves figs. So I've not actually never had one that is um, fresh off the tree. So. All of hers has been in a fig newton. Yeah, fig newton. <laughs> I like mine to put them in the refrigerator, let them get cold and then eat them. But a lot of times they don't make it to the refrigerator, so. That's two down and two more to go. Anything else you wanna say about this one, Lynn? I think that's all. We were look, well, I'm sorry. We were looking at the Italian honey uh, fig, which is uh, a smaller one. Uh, 
it's also more firm as a fruit than this one is. Uh, I'm used to mine always having the, you bite into it and it just kind of squishes in your mouth. But anyway, we'll move on to the next one. This is a ranch elderberry. Sorry if I, <laughs> if I have that Alabama accent. But um, Where's it from, Liam? It's a what? Ranch elderberry. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to have two elderberries planted about six foot apart in order for them to bear fruit and pollinate. So they don't even have to be the same variety of elderberry. They're pretty good. Whew. He's ready to be planted. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to rush you, but my hip's on fire. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Oh. Look at her saving grass for the pigs and chickens. Of course. One more to go. Oh. This is another elderberry. Not exactly sure of the variety of this one. Um, we went to the same nursery a couple of weeks ago and he said it didn't look all that great and he wasn't sure of the variety so he just gave it to me. So we're hoping this one's gonna do okay. Free, so. <laughs> free is always good. Free is good. It's a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I know. <laughs> when we dug into the soil, it looks pretty good. So we're just re using the same soil that we dug out of the hole. Looks like I might have to go get some more for this hole, though. I'm going to get a little more soil to put in this area to fill it up. And um, here are the blackberries that we planted a few weeks ago. We're doing good. Just to show you where everything is. There's the new fig tree. You can see it. And this way is the new mulberry. That's the fig. Giving the girls one. Looks like they're waiting on another.
Well, we've got everything planted. We appreciate you joining us and being with us as we got them planted. We're so excited to see what kind of fruit we harvest next year. So I hope you have a great weekend and we love you guys. God bless. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please don't forget that thumbs up button and leave us a comment. Thanks. See ya.